The Government of India has established a, a roadmap uh, to strengthen India's innovation system. And this roadmap in particular has highlighted uh, the important role that research and development activities play in the overall innovation process. Uh, and while we in the uh, Global Innovation Index team, um, you know, the purpose of the GI has always been to go beyond, you know, narrowly defined measures of research and development uh, to measure innovation. We still feel that, of course, research and development <coughs> is at the core of innovation, and uh, we fully appreciate uh, the focus uh, that is being paid uh, to research and development uh, activities. Science and technology can be neutral, can solve big problems, grow wealth, and expand human possibilities. But the leading nation is still found short in spending, so expenditure is very critical to economic growth on R&D. The National Research Development Corporation, a CPSC under the Department of Scientific and Industrial Research, is actively engaged in promoting, developing, commercializing technologies and patents, as well as processes through all the national R&D institutions. I would like to end, but there's still a long road ahead. A lot needs to be done. And a lot of, I think, uh, synergetic development has to take place so that the efforts are not wasted and we get the maximum output. And India has therefore, because of its young demography, a huge opportunity. Therefore, focusing on training our young demography is very important. There, our research enterprises need to be more integrated into our university system. Right now, as you have heard and you will hear soon, our research enterprises have done really well, but they are really well in different components. They need to come, in, come together even more. The key messages of this report are, that the R&D is critical to economic growth and social well-being of everyone in the country. India needs to scale up its investment in R&D and optimize expenditure outcomes to usher in a new paradigm of development. And finally, R&D expenditure ecosystem report lays down the roadmap for a smart, efficient, and effective R&D ecosystem to make India a global destination for research and development. It is no brainer today, as all of the speakers talked about, that science, technology, and innovation is the, one of the important pillars of the economic growth of any country. And SNT today cannot just be confined in verticals, but it has to be a horizontal element that cut across the entire machinery of the government, whether it is the line ministries, whether it is the infrastructure ministries, everybody has to look into this aspect of research and innovation as an enabling tool to actually make India as what the Prime Minister talks about, the new India. And in this whole process, I think it's very important for us to realize that this would be successful only when the three elements, what I call research, which is knowledge creation, education, which is knowledge dissemination, and innovation, which is knowledge application, is seamlessly connected. And this could only happen when there is again a seamless connection between public, private, and all the stakeholders in the entire ecosystem. And to make this happen, I believe it's very, very important that you know, we have to have uh, you know, the equal contribution of the private sector uh, uh, into this whole uh, uh, game plan.